Bonus time, DNA, the missing link. You've seen an example of a DNA molecule before. They call the shape of it a double helix. Basically, uh, what it is, it's a, like a twisted ladder. So just imagine um, an ordinary ladder standing up as if you're gonna climb it. Um, there are the long poles on each side and the rungs that you stand on and put your hands on. So when it comes to understanding DNA, all you need to know is that each rung is connected to the left pole and the right pole by something that starts with the letters A, G, T, or C. Now in a perfect world, everywhere that there is supposed to be an A, or a G, or a T, or a C, there is one. This is ideal because what the DNA molecule needs to replicate, to reproduce itself, is this done perfectly. Now imagine this, there's a twisted ladder, the ladder on twists and pulls uh, apart. The intelligence in the body reproduces and matches up the now missing A, G, T, or C on each side and builds two new identical ladders that are formed, they retwist and they go about their business. Um, that's how DNA replicates and reproduces itself. Now. Twisted and untwisted ladders sound simple. Do you feel like an expert geneticist yet? <laughs> so let's look a little bit deeper. There are things that cause problems with our blueprint that can be replicated trillions and trillions of times, much to the detriment of our health. These undesirable things are known as SNPs. SNPs happen with the A, G, T, or C not being in the right location. Simple as that. For example, an A might not be in a place where it's supposed to and there's a G, or a T might be in a place where a C belongs. Doesn't sound terrible, right? Well, the reality is that when these genetic defects come into play, many crucial body functions don't work right. Many of these functions have to do with detoxification, immune system function, inflammation, and more. SNPs cause malformations of things crucial for life. They weaken our body's ability to produce things that it needs to carry out healthy function. And just imagine like a hospital. It needs a certain amount of doctors, a certain amount of nurses, a certain amount of orderlies, a certain amount of everything to service the patients. Now imagine if you sent in electricians, accountants, and artists to just randomly do, try to do their jobs. How do you think things would work? Better? No, worse, probably, not at all, maybe. Just understand that no one's DNA is perfect. We all have genetic defects handed down from our parents. We can also acquire new genetic defects through exposure to toxins and of course radiation. Perhaps in the future, tiny robots called nanorobots will actually be able to repair our genes, but for now, we can only identify our SNPs and support those weak areas. This approach is highly effective and you can benefit from it right away with the right information. Great news, genetic testing is available and it's cheap. At the time of this writing, direct con to consumer services like Ancestry.com and 23andMe, home saliva tests are available. It's simple, once you have performed the saliva test, you've sent in your sample and received your results, you have just been given access to your personal genetic information which always should be protected and only transmitted safely. Each consumer is provided a raw data file available to them in their personal account, which goes beyond the heritage, ethnicity, and the family information. This raw data can be downloaded and sent securely in electronic format to a professional with the capabilities to process the information and create a SNPs report. This SNPs report can be used in order to assess the genetic weaknesses what they mean, and what to do about them. This info tells you exactly what you should have checked in your blood on a yearly basis for life. It also indicates critical lifestyle practices that can support genetic weaknesses caused by SNPs. So what do they monitor on a yearly basis, you wonder? Well, crucial items like vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin E, B vitamins, inflammatory markers, and many more all come from blood tests. Some of these may sound like ordinary items to assess, but please understand that it is unlikely that the precise things each individual person needs to monitor yearly will be assessed and scrutinized on a regular basis. Getting these simple yearly blood tests is easy. Your personal doctor may order them or you can walk into any like do-it-yourself lab outfit like 
Quest or any lab test uh, now, um, they're, they're all over, check your area. So get your SNPs mapped out. This is your blueprint. This is you. See the project plan for testing and interpretation information.